Cannon, we need to talk. What's up everybody? Today, we're talking about Canon again. What a coincidence. I'm actually thinking about starting a series called Why You Do This, Canon? Because it seems like ever since the RP came out, they've just been going downhill. But before we get into it, let's put that intro. There are some major issues going on with Canon. Now, don't get me wrong. I have four camera bodies that are all Canon, all Canon lenses. I love Canon. They're a great brand. I think they make great products. Okay, I think they made good products, but I'm getting a little frustrated as are most of you if you're not already a Sony or Panasonic or Fujifilm lover by this point. The main thing is that Canon refuses to put 24 frames per second in their new cameras, which is ridiculous. And I'll get into the reason why a little bit later. Let's start out with the two cameras they just came out with. I'm not gonna go in depth on them. I'm just gonna go over them. So they came out with a 90D and a M6 Mark II. Uh, the Mark II was kind of rumored to be full frame. It's not. They're both crop sensors, not full frame. Uh, however, the big, big, big two changes, Canon, finally made to their cameras. I will tell you what, we've been waiting since 2012 for this update. Yeah, it's been that long, 2012. Anyway, they have 1080, 120 frames per second, which is legit, and they have 4K in both these cameras. They both have very, very, very similar specs. One's just mirrorless. So, these cameras, like I said, are pretty identical. Uh, it's pretty nice. 120 frames per second and the 4K. Now, the one huge, huge thing I have noticed on the 90D, which is really awesome, it says they have a movie recording for 4K and it says there's a uncropped and a cropped version of 4K. Now, I'm not sure why they would have both uncropped and cropped, but if it has 4K no crop, this is a game changer for Canon except for the fact they took out 24 frames. So they kind of took a step forward and then took 10 steps back because from what I can remember, even my T2i that came out way back in the day had 24 frames per second. I wanna get into the technical side of the 24 frames per second issue. I read on some rumor website of like the seven Canon ones there are that a Canon rep mentioned they took out 24 frames per second to protect their cinema camera and their EOS R line of cameras. Now, in my opinion, this is the most silly thing I've ever heard. You don't see Sony doing the same thing. They have cinema camera lines, their FS5 and all the other pretty awesome camcorders or cinema cameras, whatever you want to call them. Um, and they still put out DSLRs and mirrorless cameras that have top tier specs that we, we enjoy. We need 24 frames per second in our cameras. We don't just shoot 30, 60, and 120. We need it. Let me let me throw this scenario at everybody. It, this, this just makes a lot of sense. Let's say you're in the market for a cinema camera and a camera that has all the specs you need is in a DSLR, but it's also in the cinema camera you're looking at, like a C300. I'm Me personally, I'm still gonna buy my cinema camera because they're a whole different category of camera. They are completely different. Second of all, let's look at the pricing. You can get a C100 for like two grand with the body and you probably already have lenses. So the 90D is 1200, it's close to a thousand. The uh, M6 Mark II is 850. They're both around a thousand dollars and then the C100 is $2,000. Now, we already know how to use our DSLRs. I have no freaking idea how to use a cinema camera, nor do I have the desire at this point right now, so I'm not gonna get a cinema camera. I'm going to continue buying DSLRs. Now, if you flip that around, I'm still gonna buy cinema cameras or even upgrade to a higher end one, like let's say the C2 or 300, which goes from five to $9,000 for just the body, compared to a $1,000 DSLR, that doesn't make sense. And then whatever number I'm on, I think three, it's a crop sensor. 
It's a crop sensor. You really think I'm going to downgrade from wanting a cinema camera to a crop sensor, smaller megapixel, less functionality, cheaper camera when I'm looking at cinema cameras. Those are my three points or whatever as to why it's the most ridiculous thing I've ever heard. I have no idea why Canon's trying to destroy their own brand. Anyway, like I said, tell me what you think down below, what your opinions are. Uh, you can slam on me for loving Canon so much and talk about how awesome Sony and the new Panasonic SH-1 is and all this other fun stuff. I'll just go cry in a corner and uh, stop filmmaking forever. Thank you, Canon. Also, obviously, the subscribe button. I figured that's just a normal thing that people do because that's how we live our lives. So, hope you guys have a good one and uh, I'll see you on the next one.